Hey everybody, it's Grant, and welcome to my next video on my newest eight units. Let's just quickly take a cool pan. Look, you got, you got the three bedrooms that we built. You saw those videos. Uh, we did three videos on this series right here, maybe even four or five. Uh, that was a great series. We did the original uh, video when I bought that fourplex with the land to build 16 more units. That's all the way in the front. I bought a whole extra unit out of the fourplex that was actually originally here that I didn't buy the first time. And then here we are with the newest eight. These properties have been uh, a lot of a learning experience. I mean, I, I've had so many obstacles from price increases uh, to you know issues with the actual build itself to, to somebody ran in to I think unit 20, the painter crushed unit 20, it, 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 things just happened. Okay, so this video is gonna be full packed of all this stuff. We're gonna cover the numbers, we're gonna cover everything. We're gonna show it all to you and give you a cool tour. Let's get into it. So while we're outside, we're gonna cover the four things that we did in this property to, to make it that much more appealing. The first thing uh, was the convenience of having a bigger dumpster. Now, I just got here and uh, we got, some, got some, some garbage that we're gonna be getting cleaned up. We already called our, our helper, so that's gonna be taken care of, so just disregard, but I gotta show you. We upgraded the dumpster two times since this happened with the new eight. We just rented uh, most of them. We have three left available, but we just finished those. We might actually have to be getting two of them. We're gonna be watching that pretty closely to make sure our tenants always have that convenience because what's an extra $190 a month for not having that, that amount of phone calls being upset? The next thing that we did, I can just show you right here, we spray painted parking lot lines because no one can park, no one. It's, 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 a, it's a gift that no one can get. Without lines, you cannot park. Somebody's gonna park over here and then it ruins your space. So you get phone calls that are petty about parking. Parking is one of the biggest issues when it comes to property because you need to have two spaces per door of your, uh, your rental units. So we did that, not only did we do that, I didn't want people having to guess what numbers were. So unit 24 has both of its parking spaces. They are spray painted, the parking spots are, are nice and, and crisp, and it's right in front of their property so they can pull up, get over there. If somebody's parked in their unit and it's not their vehicle, we can get to the bottom up pretty quickly and we write parking tickets very rarely, but we do have the opportunity, it's in the leases, to where make sure that we just keep the peace. The next thing that we did was we actually added beautiful landscaping. So we just finished all this, uh, beautiful landscaping. Uh, we sodded all the grass to have that nice green area. Uh, there's still some things, we had a concrete problem, we have some other issues here. We're getting them resolved, but that beautiful landscaping makes it really nice. It's an added cost that nobody really wants to do, but at the same time, when the tenants pull up, they have a nice place that just feels their own and it's a great thing to do. To keep that landscaping going, the next thing we did on the outside was we added gutters. Now I spent 5,000 bucks, which I think was a great deal to put gutters on five quadplexes. Now we only did them on the front to protect our landscaping and we ran it off to where it just goes straight to the street. But the gutters not only added a beautiful kind of little extra piece to it, because I, I think it looks even better with the gutters, but at the same time, it keeps that landscaping, it keeps that mulch, it keeps everything going great, which is another added bonus. Uh, a little bit more maintenance, but that's the things. Let's go inside and talk about some of the great things we did inside. And of course, we'll get to the numbers and all the rest of it. Let's go. So why don't you come inside and I will show you some of the things that were big mistakes that we actually turned into pretty solid fixes. And uh, I'll show you the finished product of converting that plan of a two bedroom, one and a half bath into a two bedroom, two bath. And I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So the first thing that I wanna draw your attention to in here is this area. This area is actually the one where they left off the room divider. It was in the original plan, it looked really nice and it was a great just visual point, in my opinion, uh, of the original properties. They didn't have this beam, and so what happened, just to add to the stress levels of, you know, all the things that have happened during this build, they built these sides right here. They, they built this, look, they used the wrong hand, the strong hand. They built the sides and they put nothing in the top. That this, this wood beam was not here. It, I want you to visualize this, with, without, it's like me with, with, with no front hair. It was weird um, and I was annoyed. So uh, they ended up coming up with this idea. I absolutely love the fix that they did. I think it's great. They stained it. It looks really cool. It doesn't add a, 
uh, a silly feel to it. We were going to do it white and then we ended up going with the contrast and I really think it, it works. It really does. Uh, so that was the first major goof up that happened aside from price increases to recap you uh, and then the plumbing and everything being run for a three bedroom apartment instead of a two. The next thing that I want to draw your attention to uh, in these apartments while we're walking through is the beautiful crown molding all across the top. By adding that beautiful crown molding to this, this property, it allows that tenant to walk in and be like, wow, this is a really high end, classy apartment. This is a really nice place that I would love me and my family uh, to actually live in. So by having the, the cool accent, by having the crown molding and the large spacious kitchen, it really adds some talking points uh, to why somebody would actually want to rent here. Uh, the next thing that we actually want to show you right here is how I converted the original fourplex plan of a two bedroom, one and a half bath into a two bedroom, two bath. So as I told you, I shortened up the laundry room. This used to have uh, one laundry unit here, one laundry unit here, and it was, you know, fine, about the same cost. These cost about $1,100, uh, where the other ones cost about $500 a piece. So there's not a whole lot of cost difference. Uh, they actually are the same things, except they're, they're front loads and you just stack them on top of each other. We didn't go with the same ones we had from previous apartments. That way, when this one breaks, I just take it down, put another one on top of it, it all works the same. So these uh, are really nice, a little bit nicer, you know, a little bit more. I think this set was like 1200 bucks, uh, but it really works out. You got a front load washer and dryer, which is pretty cool, and it's, uh, it looks really nice as well. The bathroom, what we ended up doing, it's a very simple fix, super pro tip right here, because advertising a two bedroom, two bath looks way better than doing a two bedroom, one and a half bath. So because the plumbing was a little messed up, the toilet's kind of just right here. I don't love the layout of how everything happened, but we have our drop-in shower right here. Our toilet's a little bit too close. Everything kind of didn't work out exactly as planned, but we, we went with the punches and some of the punches kind of Kind of hurt back you know but uh it does still work it's a very nice bathroom and it's an apartment we always have to remember that i i try to build these things and i go man you know if i ever sold my house i needed a place to live i want to i want to live in my apartments and i would absolutely live here the kitchen has a ton of counter space let's go to there next and a ton of top cabinets uh this part right here super nice uh very spacious now here's the thing um i went with white appliances because it's a, a white apartment it's a uh, white countertops and i have had a little pushback personally if i did it again uh because i am a person that likes everything to be uh, cohesive right so when i bought it those were all white and i thought it looked nice so i went with that same design if i could go back and redo it i would do stainless steel appliances just because i have had a few people say well you know why don't you have stainless steel it makes it look that much better I kind of went with the flow and hundred dollars more for a refrigerator, a dishwasher, an oven, and a microwave. You're talking 350 to $400 for a whole lot more impact. So pro tip, I would go back with stainless steel appliances if it was me, but it has not stopped us renting them in any way, shape or form. So that's the one thing in this entire build after all the <laughs> punches that we took that I would actually change. And I would change that on every single unit here in this complex. So another thing that you wanna put, if you have the space, is a nice solid size pantry. People love this so they can actually have plenty of places to store, but it's not gonna make somebody not rent your apartment. But once they actually come here because of the advertising of that two bedroom, two bath for a solid deal, they're gonna actually come here and see this beautiful quality, this beautiful place. And then that, that pantry might be the selling point for why they actually rent from me. I try to put a pantry in every single one of my properties as well as a fenced in yard with some type of little patio. Uh, even if it's just a concrete slab like this, this allows you to have a place to put your old smoky, your grill, you can entertain, share your, 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 it's not a huge backyard, but it's still spacious enough for you and a pet, whatever you need to do. And all my properties are pet friendly, uh, but you need to make sure you have a pet deposit. And I, I would also encourage you, if you're gonna do people with pets, to maybe charge a monthly pet fee. We don't do that, but it is something we've been looking into, the more damage that we get from pets. Don't wait till you have the damage. Learn from me, learn how to better spend your money by watching me invest mine, and I think it'll be, you'll be better for it. So one problem that we had at the three bedroom apartments and the two bedroom apartments in the front were the fact that the very bottom two steps, the, the carpet kept coming up. Nails would be exposed, people would step on them or, or possibly step on them. I don't know if we ever had anybody step on it, but it was something that would make us alarmed. 
So on the last ones, they put this metal trim and I didn't like it. So this time we spent a little bit more money on two stair treads. Now to do the entire thing on a stair tread, it's gonna cost like $1,200 to $1,400 a unit. Uh, and that was the last time I quoted it. So it could be more, could be less now. But if you multiply that by 21 units, that's, that's so much more money that you're not gonna get back. The tenants aren't gonna necessarily take care of it. So if you're gonna sell a property, I absolutely consider doing stair treads. But if you're gonna do an apartment, you know, maybe some kind of uh, transition or you know, some other thing just to solve a problem might work. But we actually did this to also go with that accent piece, which looked really, really nice. Uh, we did this handrail in the same color to give a little bit more accent. And let's go up into the actual bedrooms and show you how spacious and roomy they are. So here we are in the first bedroom. And as you can see, it's massive. It's got plenty of room. The closet is absolutely spacious. And then let's go into the Jack and Jill bathroom that uh, I think you're gonna enjoy what we did in there. So one thing we always try to do in our properties is utilize space. So this bathroom has a double sink where people both can get dressed here. The main thing for that second bathroom, they just have that shower. They still have that double sink where you can brush your teeth with your roommate, uh, wife, whatever, uh, husband, spouse, partner. We have that big drop-in tub where they still can take a shower or a bath, which is very nice. And over here, we actually put this large cabinet, uh, which is really nice. It's got a ton of space and a ton of storage for our tenants. Let's go into that last bedroom, just show you what it looks like. So that way you get a full view of how this property works and just what it looks like to have a good size bedroom, a good size bathroom. So that way when you're building these things, you don't build them too small and somebody comes in here and says, ah, oh, I just couldn't do this. This room can still fit a pretty good size queen size, maybe a king size bed. It is a little bit smaller of a room, has a very large and spacious closet. But just to show you, this is the entire property tour. Even though costs went up, even though everything that could go wrong went wrong on this property build, uh, it still worked out pretty well. So all that being said, please stay tuned until the next video we're gonna do in this series. I don't know if it's gonna come out next month, next week, but we're gonna do a video on the entire complex, how much I make on all 21 units that I actually own here at this, this facility. Uh, I've actually been offered one more, so that's pretty in interesting and exciting. So uh, we don't do outros anymore. I 100% believe in you and uh, I'm leaving.